But tonight, the soaring cost of EpiPens has been making headlines all year. What many families don't know is there's an alternative that costs hundreds of dollars less. Dr. Malika Marshall on why more doctors aren't prescribing it. A severe peanut allergy means one wrong bite could be deadly for 10-year-old Dylan Frazier of Duxbury. That's why his mom keeps EpiPens everywhere. We keep one in the cafeteria and we also keep one in the classroom and in the sports bag. But insurance doesn't pay for all those extras, so the Frasers have to shell out hundreds of dollars a year. What Kristen and many of her friends who have kids with similar allergies didn't know is there is a cheaper alternative. The epinephrine auto injector. I was surprised we didn't hear about it just because I think I'm pretty astute on what's going on. The generic epinephrine auto injector has been on the market since 2013. The cash price is as much as $430 cheaper than Mylan's EpiPen. It is exactly the same medication. Dr. Arthi Thangaraj of Beth Israel Deaconess Hospital in Plymouth says this generic is just as safe and effective as the EpiPen brand. So why aren't more doctors prescribing it? It's like Kleenex. We don't say facial tissue. When I think of an epinephrine auto injector, the first word that comes to mind is EpiPen. ER doctor Ron Barrell says Mylan, the EpiPen manufacturer, has done an exceptional job promoting its product. He believes there's also confusion over how to write a prescription for the cheaper generic. There are many providers, I'm sure, who think I'll write EpiPen or generic equivalent who aren't realizing that the pharmacist can't substitute it. Although it is the same medication, they're not considered exactly the same. The physician should write for the generic epinephrine auto injector. If they write a prescription for the EpiPen, that's what will be dispensed. The main difference lies in the device itself. There are two caps that need to be removed before the drug can be administered in the generic version. The EpiPen has just one. So in the case of an emergency, we just pop this off. Kristen says Dylan's doctor thought it was important he stick with the device he knows. And that's why he did not offer the generic. But as he gets older, she likes the idea of the cheaper alternative. I think if it works just as effectively and if we can be confident that he can use it, then I would be on board. The EpiPen manufacturer is expected to release its own generic for $300, but that's still about $100 more than the auto injector. I'm Dr. Malika Marshall, WBZ News.